Hello and welcome to this Baby College online class. I'm Emma from Baby College West Oxfordshire and this class is for little ones aged 12 months and under. So for babies and toddlers aged from 0 to 12 months. So this morning we're going to be singing, clapping, signing, playing, moving and learning with your little ones. Um, we're going to start our class this morning with best way we possibly can which is to sing our hello song. So when you're ready if you could get your little one sitting comfortably we're going to start singing hello. Look around you, what do you see? A beautiful world for you and me. Is it raining? Can you see the sun? Let's say hello to everyone. Hello, say hello. Hello to you. Hello, say hello. Baby College welcomes you. Wonderful. We are going to get straight on with our first body mapping routine of the morning. So body mapping is a great way to both reduce separate, separation anxiety in your little ones, especially between the ages of about nine and 12 months, but also to help your little ones understand where their bodies start and finish and to enjoy the music and the movement of the sounds as they learn to recognise the different parts of their body. So this first body mapping song we're going to do today is called Open Shut Them. You can do this routine either with older sitting babies, babies with good strong head control, perhaps six months plus. They can sit on your laps like this and you can then stretch their arms in and out and open the upper body in and out gently like so. If your baby is younger than six months or perhaps doesn't have such good head control, then you can of course lay your baby down on your lap um, on their backs so that they can then stretch their arms in and out with your help. So again, you can do this exercise with babies lying down on their backs or babies sitting up. It's completely up to you, whatever works best for your baby. Open, shut them, open, shut them, give a little clap. Open, shut them, open, shut them, lay them on your lap, tap, tap. Creep them, creep them, creep them, creep them right up to your chin, chin, chin. Open up your little mouth and put one finger in. <laughs> Fantastic. Well done. Right, we're going to do that one again one more time. Are you ready? Here we go. Open, shut them, open, shut them, give a little clap. Open, shut them, open, shut them, lay them on your lap, tap, tap. Creep them, creep them, creep them, creep them, right up to your chin, chin, chin. Open up your little mouth and put one finger in. Well done, fantastic, that was wonderful. Okay, we are going to sing another body mapping song. This is actually one of my favourite baby college body mapping songs um, because it involves the whole body um, and it's a great one to teach your little one for them to get to know and to get used to all the different sensations and all the parts of their body as you sing to them. So one of my baby college favourites this is 10 little fingers. You can of course do this exercise with babies sitting up on your laps facing, facing me, facing the screen or if you want to sit your baby facing you as I have Alfie like this, then you can have good eye contact with each other and your baby can really enjoy the sound of your voice and your facial expressions as you sing. For younger babies, babies under five or six months, you may prefer to lay your baby down gently on their mat or on your laps so that you can then map the fingers and the toes as you sing. So I'll leave that up to you. We are going to sing 10 Little Fingers. Here we go. Ten little fingers, ten little toes, with two eyes, two ears, one tiny mouth and nose, two little arms that wave to and fro. Oh, I love all the parts of you from top to toe. Two little hands, two little hands. 
arms and two little feet. My wrists and ankles, twenty little nails so neat. Two little arms that wave to and fro. Oh, I love all the parts of you from top to toe. Fingers and toes. Ten little fingers, ten little toes, with two eyes, two ears, one tiny mouth and nose, two little arms that way to and fro. Oh, I love all the parts of you from top to toe. Yeah, fantastic. Well done. I hope you and your baby enjoyed that one. Okay, so as you know, uh, sign language is a huge part of our Baby College program and uh, we're going to recap a couple of the signs, a couple of the Makaton signs that you know fairly well by now. Um, the sign rhyme for today is called My Red Car um, and it comprises some of the signs you know already and a few new signs that you may not be so familiar with. So a couple of signs to go over before we start and you can very much use baby's body in the sign. So sign for red, your red lips, red. Car, I'm going to be driving your little steering wheel. So car, you're driving your car with a small steering wheel action. And then the sign for house or home, which is home, nice roof shape, triangle shape above the head. So nice and easy. So this is my red car. Remember, facial expressions, animated gestures, eye contact, really try and engage baby's attention. Baby can either watch me or you can turn your baby around to watch you, whichever you prefer. Here we go. I drive out in my red car. Wipers on to clear the rain. People point and people wave and then I drive back home again. That one again, ready? I drive out in my red car. Wipers on whoosh, 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 to clear the rain. People point and people wave and then I drive back home again. Fantastic, well done. Okay, okay, so now we're going to do a wonderful vestibular exercise for our babies and toddlers. This is a great exercise for your baby's balance system, also for bonding and attachment between mum and baby or dad and baby. Um, it's a really safe, really lovely exercise that your babies will enjoy. Um, and I'm going to show you the safest and best way to do this exercise. So the first thing to do is to get yourself into position. So if you have a mat with you, you might find it more comfortable to um, sit on a yoga mat or a comfortable, um, a comfortable bit of flooring. And I'm first going to show you how to get your baby into position for this exercise. So the first thing you need to do is you are going to Position your baby really comfortably and securely at the top of your legs, like so. So baby's head and neck are supported at the top of your knee. And then once your baby's in position and your hands are supporting head, neck and shoulders, you're then going to lower yourself down onto your back and your legs are going to be doing the seesawing action. So your back should not be moving, your back should just stay completely flat on the mat and it's your legs that are going to be doing the actions, okay? You can also make this into a really good core muscle workout for yourself. If you lift your head and neck slightly off the floor and make good eye contact with baby, you can then turn this into a double exercise for both you and your baby. Or if you prefer to lay your head and back completely flat on the floor, you can just lift baby's legs with your legs. So here we go, seesaw Marjorie door, baby's into position first, lower yourself down, securely on your knees and we're going to start. Seesaw, Marjorie Daw, Jackie shall have a new master, he shall have a 
but a penny a day, because he can't work any faster. Seesaw, Marjorie Daw, Jackie shall have a new master. He shall have but a penny a day, because he can't work any faster. Wonderful. And then a safe way to get yourself up is you turn yourself onto your side. Um, it's often easier than just swinging straight up into a sitting position. So that was a great vestibular workout for your baby. And that was Seesaw. We are going to move on to one of my favourite baby college songs for this morning, which is called My Ship Sailed From China. Now, you, you may find it helpful to have a couple of props for this song. Um, if you don't have a shaker or maracas to hand, um, that's no problem at all. You can actually make one really easily just with a Tupperware and some lentils or rice. Sellotape it up very, very firmly so nothing can escape. And then you've got a handmade shaker or a rattle. If you have got a rattle somewhere in your house, that would be very useful to use. And also you may need some bells. You may find it helpful to have a set of jingle bells that you can use. Uh, you can either use special bells or you can use anything that makes a jingly sound, a set of keys, any sort of instrument you like that makes a lovely jingling sound. We also need a scarf. Now I've got one of my lovely sensory scarves here, but you can use anything you can find in the house. Either a piece of material or one of your own scarves, any piece of material that you can swish and use as a lovely sensory prop to hide baby behind and make a boom and to swish in front of you. The final proper instrument that you will need is a pair of wooden sticks or claves. You don't have to use special baby instruments if you don't have claves or wooden sticks to hand. You can use a couple of wooden spoons from your kitchen drawer, get exactly the same effect. <clears throat> so, most of you know the words to this, um, but if you don't, it's very, very easy, very simple, and you will get to know the words very, very soon, I'm sure. So we're going to start with your swishy scarf, and we are going to sing. My ship sailed from China with a cargo of tea, all laden with presents for you and for me. They brought me some bells and imagined my bliss, when I found myself going like this, like this, like this, like this, like this, like this, like this. Like this. My ship sailed from China with a cargo of tea, all laden with presents for you and for me. They brought some sticks and imagine my bliss when I found myself going like this. China with a cargo of tea, all laden with presents for you and for me. They brought me some eggs and imagine my bliss when I found myself going like this, like this, like this, like this, like this, like this, like this. My ship sailed from China with a cargo of tea, all laden with presents for you and for me. They brought me some scarves that imagined my bliss when I found myself going like this, like this, like this, like this, like this, like this, like this. And then you can cover baby's head and go whoosh, peekaboo. Where's Alfie hiding? Where is he? Whoosh, peekaboo. Where's Alfie? Okay, everyone. So I hope you've enjoyed our baby college class today. It's getting to the time when we're going to say goodbye to everyone. So we're going to get ready to sing our goodbye song. And I hope you can all join me in singing goodbye to each other today. So you want to sit comfortably. Ready to say goodbye to everyone.
Goodbye, goodbye, we hope to see you soon.